What's up guys? This is the Rover and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to the Wallets play as the Italian States. Now to bring you back to yet another annoying episode. My computer seems particularly unstable. So, and I've just lost another episode. So I need to fix whatever the hell that is. But let me give you guys a recap of what's gone on. So Sweden's declared war on me. I've retaken Milan and we're slowly rebuilding it. The Ottomans have also declared war on me, so I've been expanding and growing my garrison here at Venice. There's some extra infantry. Uh, we have secured the entire British Isles, and I've, I'm not sure if this episode, if this battle will be missed or not, which would really, really suck, but there's nothing I can do. I can't save the file. But we've taken the British Isles, and we are also, we've also fought outside Tunis and de did a lot of damage to the British garrison here. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, and to kind of pay you guys back of the fact that we've just lost an episode, I'm going to fight... I'm going to make this an hour special, just to make this a bit... bit of a, that's a bit of a sorry. Because mm, I should show you, no one's more frustrated about this than I am. Okie dokie, so let's pick up our replenish, replenish our troops. Because oh yeah, the Ottomans have declared war on us, we don't have a shared border directly. Um, they are instead pushing through uh, Egypt. So what we're going to do is we're going to send one army down here. And we're going to go and start attacking some of these Swedish troops. Well, Swedish? Swedish. Ottoman troops. So let's go take them out. So we've got two stacks, which is fortunate for us because we have two armies. The second army I brought down from Patras down towards Greece because it seemed a bit much to have a full stack there, especially when I'm not at war with Russia. I may be at war with Russia in the future, but right now it's more advantageous to take that stack and use it elsewhere. God, this this sand is blinding. Still, same plan as usual with this army, form a giant line and envelop. Seems to work. Those two houses seem to be all we need to have a, a sufficiently a sufficient level of a sufficient level of firepower. You guys obviously both drop quick lime. It's got camel gunners. Don't like camels. Obviously, we all know that. Uh, Heavy cavalry seems to do quite well against camels. But let's just keep pushing. Is the quick climb actually there? I'm assuming the first volley hasn't really done anything. Start engaging their infantry that's advancing up. God, this yellow is glaring. It may be accurate, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe what it's like to actually fight in the desert. Okay, I wanted to make sure where this unit ended, or where this position ended. So let's run those guys, let's run the cavalry up. Quick climb inbound. Good amount of kills, not a huge amount. But we aren't explicitly looking for most kills. Not yet, anyway. We will be in future. So much so, I might even limber my artillery out. So we're going to vault them forward. God, I'm so, I'm, I'm so annoyed I lost that video. Mainly because it was a good video and I was in good spirits and things were going well and all this good stuff. Let's move my howitzers up. But yeah, the upshot of it all, and I don't want to lose that good spirit that I had, is that... Aha! Armenian archers, eh? Camel 
gun has a charging. Well, they're not charging. Gotta remember, that's where the most of the enemy forces are. They're hidden as archers. So, just absolutely butcher them. Okay, so the weakened unit of Dragoons, you chase them out, chase them down. I want to let my my howitzers get in, get up into position. Come on, kill the archers. The rest still have to show themselves. Unlimber the guns. Let's get ready to spot. Let's get ready to spot arches. Okay, cavalry push. You intercept. These are heavy cavalry as well, so we do need to outnumber them. Nope, you've seen them off. Don't worry about artillery, I should really have fixed that priority target first. Camels are gone. Some of the coverage to hit them a bit. I can hit my militia. Damn. Cavalry came, the camels came back. But let's hope they break. No, they didn't. I'm not so bothered about the horsemen. Keep dropping quick climb shots. guys keep popping off shots at the camels. No, militia, stay back. These are feline charging in. They're not going to do so well against my against my regular infantry. Water charging in the centre. It's not going to go tremendously well for them. Commit my cavalry to charge on the left. Stretch my militia out a little bit more. Engage, engage the light horsemen. Or unit of infantry that's just got mauled by three units of cavalry. I fear their days may be numbered. Ok, 
Okay, let's get some infantry to fire into the backs of these heavy cavalry. I really like how their effort is, at all costs, attack my cavalry. There you go, it's their fight. So that's heavy cavalry. But they're being engaged by my musketeers in the rear. But let us engage them. Enemy general has been killed. Should be able to do some good work against those guys. We also want to keep chasing down their infantry. That is the the bonus, not the, not the bonus. The uh, it's the target. Mow them down with our cavalry. We are going to have to fight this battle. We're going to have to fight these guys a couple of times on the campaign map if we don't kill them. So, just need to make quick work of them. And we are. Seventeen men. Oh no, they get used to you carry attacking them, you guys advance and chase down the other chaps. Let's hit the elite light infantry actually. Disaster. Chase down the Azars first. You can kill that unit. Then go chase after those Israeli. You're doing a number on those chaps. You're doing great against them. Damn right, continue. There you go. Let's speed up a little bit. Oh, the artillery, just to make sure there's no friendly fire. Everyone chase down as many men as you can. Ah, they all escaped. Good, you did get them, they slid back into the frame. Okay, the last one is these these two Azars. Decisive victory, that's the word you like to see. Decisive. Look at that. They've been gutted. Unfortunately, they've routed like the most frustrating direction. You need to go hit these guys at Suez in order to make sure they don't do anything annoying. But yeah, super frustrating, lost the episode, but, you know, can't do anything about it, I'm going to try, that's why I said I want to make this one an hour long, so you guys can feel you're at least getting a good, good amount of content. Okay, let's drop out, it's just behind the line. 
quick climb behind the line here. Form our enveloping line. Why is it not? There we go. Let's see, why is it not showing me options? Quick climb. Quick climb so tasty. Ah, and they do have cavalry spikes, so let's be careful. Actually, let's bombard them for a bit. Because we need some absolutely one sided victories against. against uh, these forces. Considering the well, the sheer number the Ottomans will have, uh, go kill the archers that are trying to flank and get some cheeky kills. Uh, do you have some camel nomads? Put my sars out wide. Just kill them. So back there, you've got Mameluk guards, Mameluks, and Camel Nomads. Let's pick new quick climb targets. Deploy our light horse. You guys hold fire. Destroy that special European model infantry. Meh, meh, meh. It's so special anymore. Let's get all my artillery to start bombing those camel nomads. So my hussars are hitting the last intact unit on the left to be honest let's get my artillery to also my howitzers to also start engaging them good they've deployed their heavy cavalry they've deployed their cavalry not the heavy cavalry so I can deploy my cavalry in response Okay, you guys ignore the square and just charge down the rest of the infantry. You guys hunker down in square. So my cavalry is going to love this because they're heavy cavalry armour to the hilt. This is the sort of thing they like doing. Mameluk guard is trying to flee, in which case then okay, we'll just attack the Mamelukes then. And if in case you guys are thinking about doing anything too sneaky... Let's get involved. You men push up to stop those infantry from just seeing this as an opportunity to chase me around the map. So my marines are going to help tip the balance. If there is a balance that need to be tipped, my marines will tip it. Get our 
after those Armenian archers. They're breaking down the troops they have involved. Are you guys firing at the infantry or they got cavalry? You're firing at the cavalry. Pivot. Take out those camels. Yep, they're engaging us at point blank range with their muskets. They're going to take them out. Halt the fire at will. Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. You fellas are going to pay for this. Oh, go on, the Marines, you get involved. Speed up time, because right now this is all going to be fairly expected. Yeah, we're going to continue, but we're going to continue responsibly. My heavy cavalry run around the spikes, not through them, but around them. They still almost tried it. <sighs> so close to loads of dead friendly fire. Deadly friendly fire, not dead friendly fire. Come on, kill them. Kill them all. Oh, you can't anymore. You help take out the Constantinople infantry guards. General can help out here, if that'll help out pathfinding. No, they're going to escape. Curse your potter. Okay, four men left. Constantinople guards, now it's just the one. Now they're all dead. Awesome. So we lost 400 men, they lost 2,300. So now these men are in position. In case these guys try to do something, in case someone tries to push from Jerusalem. Uh, you can hold here. I would like another influx of cash, please. Before I do anything too crazy. I wouldn't send too many troops that direction, Britain. You're uh, running out of territory. Oh, they're going to go run around behind me. Is Britain going to come blockade me? Yes, they will. And we're not going to interdict because we can't. Don't worry. You fellas can't push the way you'd like to push because I've just killed your troops. Yep, yeah, you're going to go and raid your way around. More than welcome to do so. The Russians look like they're going to go declare, prepare to declare war. Ooh, the Swedes are going to, they're gathering troops around Britain. This is it. This is now the great game. So, you take out Yegen Kara. you have. You instead are going to go back here to keep an eye on where this navy wants to dump that army. It's John Churchill's army no less. You are going to march this side of this army 
attack them. That's an auto resolve ever I've seen one. You guys hit the garrison. Don't push. Instead, you guys replenish. You round here. You will come and intercept Rutger over here. Some more Swedish troops are coming. So you come around and kill Roland. Is that a... Are those British rebels? They are. Fusiliers. Line infantry. Okay, you just try to get out of there. You get back. So that's as strong as they'll get. They won't get any stronger. Let's move these men over to Scotland or over to Edinburgh. Let's pick up some line infantry just to hold the line. Okay, Sweden's advancing. Can't take out the British army here, so we're going to have to blitz and take out uh, take out their um, positions in North Africa. I think that's probably going to be the cheapest way. So you were going to be a school, weren't you? Yes, you were. So upgrades. Rome is now fairly happy. The school will be built in five turns. Let's keep this currently doing nothing. Let's actually spend some money on Swiss line. Swiss cards and Swiss line. Potato, potato. Yeah, it's frustrating there's been a bit of a rebellion in England, but whatever. We're now back up to earning six grand a turn from that province. So they're probably going to do a lot of raiding on the way, but this army's replenishing. They're on the, these guys are on their way back, doing what little replenishment they can do. Lots of trades gained by lots of generals. Obviously my port's been blockaded. It's unfortunate. None of these guys are able to to sail around and and take out Tripoli. Or do I send this small garrison over to go take Tripoli? I may do. Successful mission, Giovanni Banky. You're okay there. Okay, let's hit enter. Oh, I meant to attack that Swedish army in northern Spain. Okay, now's the time, I think, to blitz both of Britain's remaining settlements. Patras would be nice to hold, but it looks like Russia's going to be declaring war on me. And even then, I'm, there's no guarantee that I'll actually be able to extricate my garrison in time. See, look. Because of that stupid, because of my stupid, my stupid decision. Don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming anyone but me. So that's going to be the British rebels are going to get up to shenanigans. Obviously, and the the, the pirates, pirates. Well, they might. They they're, they're probably going to take that actually. Because my guys can't get there quick enough. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so incredibly frustrating. <laughs> Ugh. Sending out guys to deal with rebellions. It sucks. It sucks so much. Um, let's see how well my... Right. I've got a plan. A pseudo plan. Actually, this might not be too bad. Deploy all my dudes. 
to hammer the breach with Claire, with um, Quicklime. Have you guys here just to hammer the breach with Quicklime? We've got some fusiliers to deploy stakes, guard infantry, line infantry. You guys halt fire at will. You guys fire at will with Quicklime. Speed up time. Oh no, you're going to take forever to deploy stakes, aren't you? Because you're going to deploy them in a funny way. No time. Get inside. Speed up time and it's hope. Hope the AI's default behaviours kick in, where they decide they could attack the walls, but instead they'd much rather run inside. No, these guys own the walls, apparently. Plan over. Plan not over. Yeah, plan over. God damn it. I don't know why they, they didn't even get anyone up on the walls. So but they managed to take them. Or is there a spy in here? Is that the deal? Oh god, this is such a frustrating loss. Well, let's speed up time. Let's just let it happen. Also charge the general. Keep on attacking, keep on attacking. It's going to be a frustrating loss of income. Temporary loss, because we will get it back, but... Oh, it's frustrating that the AI decides to do this. Um, we won't lose the capital entirely, we'll just fall back to Edinburgh. Rebuild. Hey, have we taken the walls back? Great. Right after. Don't really need them, apparently. Okay, and you guys just. Pour fire into these fuselages? Well, actually, this may end up alright after all. So, who have we got? Some Swiss guards back there. Hussards over there. It is tempting to not do anything. Because the British are not moving any of their men. So by not moving any of my men, I would not prompt the AI to change their decision. Just 
push up enough to just keep dropping volleys onto the hussars. Okay, good. Oh, they're running this way, but they're already broken. I don't want to get involved in a one-on-one -on -one with the Swiss Guards without my Fusiliers being present. Oh God, I'm really... <laughs> the Guard Infantry and Fusiliers famously suck in melee combat. But we've got a Swamp him. Shaken, wavering, broken, yes! Okay, there's a loot of light dragoons out there. Whew. Okay. Hold on, make sure these guys actually do... ...routes. Oh, they're shattered, so they aren't coming back. Okay, let's not run. Let's keep my men in fairly good shape. So these men are the last remaining men. And this is what we've got. So by the looks of it, I could hunker down and allow the AI to uh, not make any attacks. Like I could sit inside and wait the timer out. And I would do that if I thought there's a genuine chance of uh, losing. And it's a slight chance, but we've got some, a good strength unit of Fusiliers. And the Fusiliers are really good at combat. But well, they're really good at shooting, so better than Dragoons are anyway. Although it looks like their men outrange me. So push up to reduce the range. There we go, the, the morale effect of the fire by rank is kicking in. Ooh. This was very close, and it was this unit of guardsmen that held on to it. <laughs> These guys are the reason we have London. <laughs> Thank Christ for that. Sorry, Silas. Okay, first of all, you guys go take out the rest of the British rebels. You may lose some units completely. Oh, you've pushed north, right into the range of my line infantry here. Good. You men, get back to London and replenish. This is going to be expensive replenishment. Same here with you guys. Replenish. So we've got the Brits are here. They've landed off Algiers. We've destroyed those men. So let's get you guys aboard ship. Let's... Whoa, frame ratey, laggy. Why has that happened? Okay. Let's see if your men occupy the port. They do, sadly. Unfortunately, we're not going to land and take it in one day. So we will lose Algiers. Temporarily. But this army is going to take Tunis. This army is going to take Tripoli. And then that will be the end of Britain. Okay, let's. 
bunch up some more Swiss infantry. Let's give you a general. Gianfranco Adomo. So it's going, to, it's going to take a bit of time to recover over here. We do have the Russians with an army. So we don't we need to be careful. Fix the military economy, fix the naval board, fix the great arsenal. We're starting to convert you guys to our religion. To give you a commercial basin, probably, just to help further expand our takeover or to build a craft workshop. Because it's cheap. These cheap upgrades are pretty good to get. Hey, we've got another agent. Let's bring him down here to England. So we can get rid of this church school. That's pretty good. Okay. So then you... Vito Spero, you're going to march around here and engage Mr. Edberg. Let's go knock out our first... Well, it's not our first Swedish army. But it's a Swedish army, at least. What I've got to be really careful of is I talk about recording, you know, I talk about giving you guys now a special. I've currently got nine gig left space, space-wise on my hard drive. And this video right now is about 45. So it may not be a full hour. Um, it might end up being just after this battle. I might have to end the part just from space limitations and then I have to go and process a bunch of footage. But it's... You guys... Quick line. This artillery is going to have an awful lot of fire put onto it. Okay, let's pick new targets for my howitzers. Oh, carcass shot, how cute! If only we had something that could beat carcass shot. Oh, yeah, we do! Great big ball of cooked oysters or incinerated oysters. Look at them. They're bunching together. All that does is make them better targets for my quick climbing howitzers. In come the howitzer shots. Dead man. Especially when my infantry finally starts firing. Granted, they haven't really had a chance to fire because I keep running them around. Cavalry involved. You go for that unit, Grenadiers. You go for that unit. I know there's a General's Bodyguard unit, but don't really care about that. Nope. You do get involved. Everyone else, plink at the General. Oh, 
Oh, that's someone my general can attack later on. General's bodyguard should probably break. Yeah, there they go. Oh, damn. I might have to cut this part early because my... Oh, God, the number... The... the, the uh, oh, I, I want to continue the battle, but I think I have to end it because my recording space is... I've got... 48.4 gig recorded, 51.6 left. Okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time for hopefully some more uh, cool fun with the Italian states. Awfully sorry once again about losing that part, and I'll, I'll investigate the stability issue to hopefully have it fixed um, immediately. But to be honest, that's probably what I'll spend the rest of my day doing. It's probably a crappy driver somewhere, ruining everything. Um... But yes, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.